Hello everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. This is the Wave Art Gallery here in Ventura, California. And I just hung this up. This is Andre Salazar, your host. And uh, I just hung up my first gallery show. And I'm going to kind of walk you guys through some of this for those of you who cannot come to the show. Um, it's about 98% done, meaning that I have about another week to maybe making a few changes, but I just finished it now, so let's, uh, let's go through some of it, okay? Um, just this spot here has these three walls. Um, the wall behind me is actually kind of a big roll-up uh, situation here at the complex. So we'll start here and let's go through. This one's called uh, Firefall. It's uh, acrylic. It's about... I think it's uh, five by eight foot large. It turned out kind of nice. This is probably my favorite of the paintings. I really like this one a lot. And then over here, we've got red and blue earth. Uh, that's oils on canvas. And then we have the many faces of Batman, which is a um, kind of mixed media watercolor and ink and different things. That turned out really nice. I really like the uh, frame on that, and it actually works really well with the uh, the painting. Look over here. Here is Serenity. That one turned out really nice. I like this one a lot. Come over here. We've got a couple of these guys. These are both on paper, uh, untitled as of yet. I'll probably come up with some kind of title for these pieces of art and as you can tell they are uh, different kind of panels with different pieces and people inside so kind of doing some experimentation there. We're going to flip it over on this side. There's a top one called Black Hole that is all oils and uh, unfortunately the colors might not really pop on this video. The lighting is a little bit of a shadow going on right now so um, I should have turned lights and I didn't. And there's another one here called Energy. It's acrylic, so it's kind of a large one as well. And then over here, Evergreen. This is Oils. And then uh, Lonely Days. This is all airbrushed. And uh, man, the colors are not popping on this video, but it actually looks really kind of neat. I like this one a lot. It's probably one of my favorites. We're gonna move over here to Four Corners. This is acrylic. This turned out really nice. I like that one a lot too. And we're gonna move back over through this way. We got these two mobile, mobile spots that kind of can put things. Here is uh, profiles. These are all different sketches that I did in various sketchbooks through years and years. And these are different people that I know. And I just did different sketches, even of me as a little child and different things. So uh, it's kind of a fun. I was gonna get that framed, but I didn't have time for that one. Here's Dreamy. This is kind of a fun. Um, Lichtenstein meets a couple other things, and as you can tell, this was done with some uh, X Men. It's like 162 or 154 or something like that. I kind of cut up some old X Men. You can see right here, Professor Xavier is a jerk. <laughs> Different things. Let me have another piece here. This is called um, Man Made. And this is acrylics here with some, uh, some watercolor and some inks. I like this one a lot as well. These, of course, are all going to go. The gallery soft opening is July the 5th. And then July 12th, we're going to have a bit of a festivities. We're going to have a band and some food and stuff. These pieces are all original pages from the Space Bear and Steam Bear Adventure Bears books that I've been working on, a series of kind of kid book, uh, picture books that I've been doing, and so we're going to display these, and everything here of course is for sale that we're going to be putting, and these kind of turned out pretty fun, so these are kind of fun to look at, and different, a lot of work goes into each one of these paintings. And we're going to save the best for last, and that is this right here. This is this entire wall, and this is only about... 60% of all the pages from the graphic novel series, which in total is about 310 pages. And this is only a fraction of that. 
but uh, we ran out of space in the ladder to get us higher and uh, we just wanted to show other stuff. But these are the paintings here. I'm just going to go slow and you can kind of check it out. And if you don't know Pry Missouri, go to PryMissouri.com. You can see the book and I'll actually have uh, copies of the book for sale as well. Uh, you can get it on Comixology and Amazon, other places online, or your comic book shop. Uh, but these are all the originals, and they turned out really nice. And it's really fun to see them displayed like this. And I am selling each of these. They're all at a standard price of about $100 each, or $150 for some of the splash pages. That's a page that has no panels. So, for example... That would be that one right there. That would be the 150. Uh, and then say this one right there, that would be 150. And all the others are 100 bucks, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty affordable. I'm gonna move over here. We ran out, so we went to this wall. So we got two big walls full of these guys. And uh, yeah, they just turned out really nice. We've already got a couple people who are interested in some, so some of them are already kind of pre selling. So. If you're interested in any of them, let me know. Kind of going through these slowly. Um, yeah, they turned out really nice. That's another, that's a great splash page right there. I love that one. So yeah, these are the originals. Jose Pescador did all the pencils and most of the inks. And then I would go in and clean up anything digitally and then I would print them out and then do all the watercolor painting. It's another great piece, kind of gross, but I love it. So this is the gallery and it is massive. It's gonna be here for about a month starting July 5th. And I really hope you guys come and check it out. Uh, it's not an experience you get to have seeing a whole comic book on the wall. Uh, you know, this is a very production based industry. And so you don't get to see it all like that, but um, it turned out really nice. And here's the show. So um, check it out. Yeah, thanks guys.